Hello everybody and welcome back to Provis Gaming and more Bioink Redemption in our lethal campaign guide. We are going back to the clinic and we're going to do the remission scenario today. Improve the patient's overall health to 70%. We're going to start off with a fair bit of damage, pretty well spread out. Now unfortunately in this scenario you do not start off in the emergency room, so it's going to be a little bit harder than the last one, but still not all that bad. Could go for the emergency bonus and I don't think that's a terrible idea. Um, I think we'll go ahead and pick that up. Diseases. Now, we could go for fewer symptoms to try and diagnose faster, and there is stuff to diagnose. However, weak diseases is also pretty good in this case, because if the diseases do less damage in the first place, that is less that you have to regenerate, and it makes it easier to get to that 70% goal. So we're going to go for weak diseases this time. We will go for the better lifestyles, because I think that that's a really good booster. Intensive care. Um... I think we are going to go for the cheaper tests, and for environment, slow collapse. Again, preventing a bit of damage done in the first place so that we will be able to get up to 70% a little bit sooner. I do suspect we're going to end up going to the emergency room at some point, which is why I picked that up, but it's a bit of a gamble. Going for the more uh, better points would have been an acceptable decision as well. 280 days in order to get up to 70% health. All right, so we have to find a few things in the cardio system. Right now, that's not too hard. A little bit of muscular damage. Um, what are the odds? You have a headache. You probably only have chronic stress. What else could cause a headache? Uh, a few different things. You could also have some insomnia. That would make sense. Mm. I'd like to rule out things like Parkinson's and Alzheimer's, which right now definitely doesn't have. Skin rash could be a number of different things. Uh, you have photosensitivity. You could also have lupus. It would make it would make a certain level of sense. I think the photosensitivity is a definite. I'm not absolutely convinced about this, the lupus. We'll probably test for this first, even though a lupus differential diagnosis would also find the photosensitivity for me. Few different things we could think through. Insomnia is a good uh, option as well. Um, but we do need to work on that cardio system. So maybe I'll go for a simple ultrasound first, see if we can find anything else. Uh, and we'll just start curing that because that's where most of the damage is going to be taken. And then after that, it's mostly just focus on lifestyles, lifestyles, and more lifestyles. That's the main thing that we're going to care about here. Now, actually, because this patient has a disease that's spread out pretty well, across a lot of these symptoms. Um, maybe going for the extra points in emergency room was an unnecessary uh, was unnecessary for me. I'm gonna guess that it actually was. You might have a stroke. That would cause a lot more damage to the nervous system if that were the case though. You don't have a stroke. No, no, no. But you probably do have blood clots. We'll come back to that. Yeah, uh, going for the extra points in the emergency room was a bit of a gamble. If a lot of these diseases had been located in one system, I think there was a very good chance we would have had to go to the emergency room. The way things are going right now, not convinced we're going to go to the emergency room at all, which means it was a total wasted booster. All right, let's go ahead and grab the deep vein thrombosis with a clot buster. And if I can get a few more points, we'll go for the anticoagulants, which will cause a lot less damage to be done in the circulatory system. She is a smoker now. Uh, why you're smoking? Well, you know, you're not in the hospital yet. Never mind. I was going to say, if she's in the emergency room and she's smoking, like, who's letting her do that? That's so stupid. But it does not appear that that's actually happening. So never mind. We're fine. There goes the deep vein thrombosis, so that's going to cause a lot less damage to the circulatory system. Uh, the blood clots will be pretty easy for me to cure as well. If I can just get a few more points, please. Let's go ahead and speed up. Uh, there we go. There's something. There's something. Okay. Now they're being sort of generous to me. Let's go cure up the blood clots. We'll get that out of the way. Still leaves me with four damage. Uh, dizziness, headache, and nausea. You probably have hypertension and you probably have high cholesterol, but again, I don't think you have a stroke. So we're going to go ahead and do a blood pressure test. That could eliminate the dizziness and headache, which might reduce the likelihood that I get a misdiagnosis somewhere else. So we'll go ahead and do that next. Also, I think will mean that no damage is going to be done to the uh, nervous system. Could go for an upgrade. Uh, we would get an extra 30% resources, which is okay. So I guess since we're not feeling super desperate, we'll be fine. We have 230 days to get a load of lifestyles. Again, I'm just not feeling very worried. So yes, I think we'll go ahead and pick up the upgrade. What do we need for the harvest power? Lifestyles. Well, that's going to happen eventually anyway, so no problem there. Uh, pick all of you up. Don't miss out on you. Pick up you. Kind of missed my better resources. We'll be getting a lot more right now. Fever and skin rash just started up. Ah, okay. Now we have some problems. Uh, let's go for the alpha blockers and get that out of the way. So, are you taking any more damage to the nervous system? No. You are taking a bit more in the immune system, though. A fever started. You might now have, might actually have lupus, and we just had a delayed effect. What are the odds of lupus nephritis? Not high. 
fever, kidney cysts, nausea. Well, you're not going to have the chronic kidney failure because you don't have regular kidney failure. Kidney cysts are possible, but that's a fairly expensive test. I'd rather rule some other things out first. All right, we are going to go for the blood clots um, and stuff, try to knock that out. Just, again, undo any damage being done to the uh, cardio system. We'll do a metabolic panel. Maybe we find something else in the meantime. You know, get lucky. That could be nice. Pick up both of you. Thank you. Thank you. I missed my extra points. I wish you were going to the emergency room. We could deliberately let the circulatory system fail. That would also be an option, but then it becomes a lot harder to get on top of it. Pick that up. All right, down to minus four. Headache and dizziness. You could have angina, but it could be a lot of other things. You have a really high fever. Really high fever. Lupus would make some sense. I think I do want to do an ultraviolet test and just sort of see what's going on down there in the uh, immune system. That could rule a lot of things out. What does lupus actually damage right now? Cardio, renal, and immune. Which he is taking cardio and renal damage. So I really feel like lupus is a sure thing. I'm almost positive. You know what? We're going to skip the photosensitivity training uh, diagnosis and we're going to go for that. There's fatigue. Okay. So more symptoms are coming in. I mean, the symptoms are actually a good thing. Like, I know that you can go for something that helps reduce the number of system, uh, symptoms to try and narrow things down. But sometimes, symptoms help confirm things. Symptoms exist for a reason, you know? All right, so he definitely has lupus. He also picked up the fatigue. That's three out of four right now. It all makes sense. It's damaging the right systems. I think he's got that. I think it's very likely. And by curing the lupus, we can also undo a lot of damage currently to the circulatory system. That said, we only have 180 days left to figure out what's going on with this patient and cure it. So now that we're in the emergency room, hey, we're going to start getting a lot of extra points. That's pretty fun. Okay, why are you now taking a lot of damage here? Um, stroke and aneurysm. You'd be doing a lot of damage to the nervous system and nervous system. Nervous system still not taking damage, so I still don't think it's either of those. Um, you could be taking this. That would explain a little bit of your nervous damage as well as the cardio. We're going to go ahead and do an electri uh, exercise electrocardiogram. And we're going to go ahead and pick up the Mediterranean diet just to undo some of the damage that is currently being done. But now that we're in the emergency room, we're going to start picking up a lot of gas. So, again, these are the points that we need. There's a, there's a lupus. Found it. All right, let's go ahead and cure you next. Uh, immunosuppressive drugs. Thank you. Uh, for photosensitivity, we would need four points. Yeah, getting rid of that lupus is going to be huge. Make things a lot easier. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I was already on the right one. I didn't want to do that. Chest pain. Ah, that scares me a little bit. Okay, corticosteroids. Let's go ahead and pick that up next. Um, headache. Mood swings. Mood swings? Hmm. You probably have had a nervous breakdown. We're going to do a psychological evaluation and rule that out. Uh, and then I need to focus a lot more on our... Um, lifestyles because we only have 160 days left and I do not want that to fail. I really do not want that to fail. Let's go ahead and cure the angina here. Nitroglycerin will be fine. Down to five and the lupus will take care of the rest. No, it won't. What else is going on? Dizziness. We're already testing for this apparently. Anorexia? If you have anorexia, that would explain... No, you'd be taking a lot more nervous damage if that were the case. I still don't feel like it can be a stroke or an aneurysm. So what else is causing damage to the cardio system? It's a good question. Um, it could be insomnia, maybe. Chronic fatigue, maybe. But that's not going to do any damage to the um, cardio system. So what's hurting the cardio system? Let's do a quick check here. Sorry, hang on. I need to think this through. Chronic stress, maybe. I don't know. Let's see what the psychological evaluation turns out. Um... It came up with... No. Okay, hang on. So you don't have... So what else causes mood swings? Nocturnal polysomnography. Uh, chest pain. What about this? Respiratory failure. That would cause more respiratory damage, so it's not that. The chest pain should be my big clue right now. Asthma would not cause cardio damage, would it? No. We'd be taking some respiratory damage anyway. Chest pain... Chronic stress. It still could be this because we didn't actually find nervous breakdown, so we could still have this, and I feel like it's very likely. Let's go ahead and rule that out as well. Chest pain. Ah, wait a minute. No, nope. pulmonary embolism again would do uh, damage to the respiratory system. What about an irregular heartbeat? Arrhythmia. Aha! This one I think you have. Let's do an electrocardiography next. 
I'm about positive you do have that. Okay, no chronic stress, so that's not going to be it. All right, all right, we've ruled that out. We now know what it is. It's going to be the irregular heartbeat. Let's go for an electrocardiography. Okay. Um, skeletal damage doing done there. We're going to have to do probably some intensive care on the circulatory system. There's the arrhythmia. Okay, so if I cure you with a pacemaker, that'll take 16 days, and I need more points first. Um, okay. The more time I spend on these points, the less time I have to work on other things. Pacemaker, grab. Okay, that'll undo all the damage there. We need to pick up aerobic exercise and start undoing some of the damage. I wish I picked that up, because that would have been all that I need. Oops. Pick up both of you. Thank you. Okay, let's go for some lifestyles. Let's pick up the aerobic exercise next. Um, and anything that fixes up the cardio system would be good. If I go for proper hydration, that would unlock something useful. For the upgrades, we need three lifestyles. Okay. Uh, if we can get this arrhythmia cured before the, um... Oh, I need to slow down. Hang on. I'm gonna get killed here. If we can get the arrhythmia... Whoa! That's a lot of points. The arrhythmia cured before the circulatory system fails, which we did, it should now start regenerating, which is good. So now... Are we at the point where I can just start curing everything? Or uh, getting lifestyles? And the answer has to be yes. Let's go for the sleeping pills. No, let's go for the physiotherapy. It's the same cost, but it's a little bit more effective. Let's also cure the insomnia. Uh, sleeping pills here will be fine. And then we just go for lifestyles. I'm going to pick up the proper hydration and the healthy diet. We're going to go to intensive care and pick up fast diagnosis. Actually, hang on before we continue. Let's get some upgrades. And then if we treat five diseases, so I need to get a couple more points and we'll get some more per resource. All right, now's the point where we just start regenerating our patient, and we have 100-something days to get up to 70% health, which should be doable. She is picking up new diseases, pelvic pain, groin pain. Well, this one's very painful. Uh, I'm going to go with you just picked up cervical cancer because it makes sense for both. Um, and we want to go for the extra points with the upgrade. Let's do that first. There we go. All right. Immune system should be getting cured up pretty quick. There's the pap test. So we have the cervical cancer detected. For that, we would need 9 points for a vaginal hysterectomy, which is doable. Um, especially if we're getting an extra 2 points for every resource. So this is now pretty much easy street from here on out. Uh, especially since we did pick up the better lifestyles and we're going to get the intensive care, which makes that even better as well. Alright, so we're going to finally cure that. She's going to have no symptoms left. We can go back to some more lifestyles. Let's go for... Uh, moderate drinking to improve the digestive and renal systems a little bit. We just want everything to look better. Everything's got to look better. Uh, let's go ahead and pick up the better lifestyles now as well. So that's an extra 20% efficiency on top of everything else. You, and then we will go to lifestyles, and we're going to go ahead and do sleep routine to improve the immune system. Since that's currently taking a lot of damage, she should be regenerating from here on out. Any symptoms? No symptoms currently. So everything is fixing. 100 days to go. Let's go ahead and speed things up. Whoop. Don't want to miss out on you or miss out on you. Thank you. Lifestyles. We're going to go for the relaxation therapy and the meditation. Okay. A uh, weight loss diet would probably be a pretty good option. We mostly want to focus on the systems that have the most room for healing. So a weight loss diet would be good, but we can't afford it right now. Let's go ahead and do yoga. Everything needs to be improved. Swelling and bruising. She's picking up new diseases still. Stop it! Stop putting yourself in harm's way, woman! It's fine, though. We're going to go for the weight loss diet. Diagnosis. Currently, every system is regenerating. Swelling and bruising. It's got to be something severe to do that much damage. Could you have picked up post-flabitic? Maybe. I wish I could see... So the problem is I can't tell which system is currently taking damage. Because everything is healing. What are the odds you have breast cancer? I may not even worry about it, to be honest. At this point, curing it is kind of irrelevant. It's just... I mean, it would, it would stop some damage from being done, but I can do lifestyles instead and get to the same result, maybe a little bit more effectively. So let's go for some strength training next. Okay, she's up to 47%. As long as she continues to heal faster than she takes damage, we'll end up being just fine. More lifestyles. Uh, we're going to go for drug-free. Again, improve that nervous system. She's taking a lot of healing there. I see the nervous system taking damage. So whatever is going on, whatever new thing she just picked up would cause nervous damage. So what about breast cancer? It does. It does cause that. Nervous system. Surely you didn't just pick up lupus nephritis because I already cured that. I'll bet you she has breast cancer. All right, mammogram. Let's find out. 
I, I said I was going to go for the... Uh, there it is, breast cancer. I said I was going to go for the uh, lifestyles. But you know what? If it is breast cancer, it's going to be causing a lot of damage. Chronic cough. Stop it. All right, let's go for uh, mastectomy. Only takes three days anyway. Get that cured. It takes no time at all. Um, a little concerned that she's not healing fast enough. We need another 12% in the next 50 days. Still think that's doable. Uh, we're just getting a little bit tighter than I'm comfortable with right now. But let's go for some of the heavy hitter lifestyles like Fitness Enthusiast, which improves five systems simultaneously. Athlete is also really quite good. Smoke Free is good for respiratory, but she wasn't taking a ton of damage there anyway. Good genetics, not so bad either. Cheaper lifestyles could have been a good option for us in this scenario as well. But again, we're now up to 64%. Um, I don't think there's much else I can do to improve upon this. And we have 40 days to get 4% more health. Oop, pick you up. Don't want to miss out on any of those. Or you. Or you. We're still going fast. And she's up to 70%, which means we win. With 38 days to spare. Not so bad. 268 points, 109 diagnosis efficiency was not my best work at all. Uh, but we are going to walk away with a 7,700 point score. That's not too bad. 244 days. It's really not that bad of a scenario. The fact that she seems to keep picking up new diseases does throw a bit of a kink in it. But just watch to see if any of those symptoms match a really dangerous disease. If they don't, and it's something simple like a blood clot, don't even worry about spending the points on it. Just focus on getting more lifestyles because they ultimately are far more effective, especially if you couple the better lifestyles 20% and the intensive care better lifestyles 20%. All those add up pretty effectively. Thank you all very much for watching. I do hope that you enjoyed. If so, then be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. Hit that notify bell if you want to see my future videos. And I will see you guys next time.